Mental health workers of Reddit, without breaking confidentiality what are some of the strangest things you've seen? This patient was in a neuro rehab unit I used to work in, but she had severe depression, so I'll share it. A female patient whose husband was going to divorce her, stepped out in front of a bus. She was left with a severe brain damage, completely lost her speech and independence, and she had to be checked on the unit almost constantly because she kept ripping parts of plastic off her incontinence pad and trying to choke herself on it. I can't ever forget that, the pain and suffering in her eyes. An elderly resident we have with vascular dementia usually spends most of their day coloring. One day I cleaned up her papers and on a sheet of a four paper repeated over and over with lovely handwriting were the words locked doors, locked doors, locked doors. This lady never talks slash communicates. I felt so awful. Just using female patients with borderline personality disorder as an example, they tend to be almost childlike in the things they enjoy. They often are the ones with pigtails, excessive, exaggerated makeup and giant tweety bird slippers and coloring pictures. I guess I see how in cases of other diagnoses it could also be therapeutic. It seems like it could channel your focus like a funnel into what you're doing. Music seems to be the same way. Some of the most gifted artists and poets have been mentally ill people I've met. I'm not a worker, but I was in a psych ward. I wouldn't call it strange, so much as fucking depressing, but there was a boy there with me, keep in mind, every other patient was in their teens, maybe 8 to 9 years old. I was there for 4 months. He never had a visitor. That is not to say that his parents didn't enter the ward. They did. To get reports from his doctors. That's all. They would never visit with him, never sit with him, never try to break through the walls. He just sat every day from the time we all left our rooms until the time we had to clear the day room he just stared at whatever was on the television kid literally had no chance in hell of ever getting out of there or having a life of any kind i've also been in the psych ward major depression and one of the women i talked to had similar parents growing up her mother would do things to make it look like she was mentally ill when she wasn't like ordering her to eat all the pills in the medicine cabinet so she could take her to the hospital she actually grew to like being an inpatient. I mean, she was safe there, and there is always someone to talk to who won't judge, and little art projects to do. It was really sad how badly it screwed her up. Some people really shouldn't have children. I watched a guy in four-point restraints pry his own eyeball out with his thumb. I still have nightmares about it. He was hallucinating and was frightened. So what's interesting about it is that what he was seeing was so horrifying that he was willing to pry out his eyes to make it stop. That's a scary thought. I checked in on someone who was spending a little too long in the bathroom, only to find him sitting on the toilet, shirtless, slathering himself with his own feces. I admit I starred a little too long as he repeatedly reached between his legs to retrieve more poop and continue slathering. Yeah, I've seen some shit. I had a patient who was actually hospitalized because he was addicted to drinking water. He would go out on day passes, i.e. allowed to leave for the day, but have to come back at night, and come back having gained about 10 kilograms in water weight. One day we walked in on him on all fours with his head in the toilet drinking the water from the bowl. After politely asking him to stop, we switched him to a room without a bathroom in it. Having to watch certain patients shower because they either were water intox patients or would physically harm themselves. Or both. I'll never see the human body the same way, prolapsed rectums, mutilated genitals, all kinds of self-harm scars. Years ago, I once had an elderly patient that, thankfully on my day off. I heard about it on my return, was caught rolling little balls of shit up and lining them up on her bed rails. When the nurse walked in and saw it and asked what she was doing, with a big toothless grin, gleefully rolling another, the old lady exclaimed, making candy. You want some? I got to spend a lovely day as a nursing student with a man coming down from drug-induced mania with a side of bipolar disorder. We were in the middle of a chess game, 
and he felt the need to inform me that while I was doing my very best, Jesus was a much better player. Come to find out, this man is in fact the Holy Spirit, so while spending quality time with another member of the Trinity they naturally turned to chess. But he thanked me for my time all the same. I work at a teenage psychiatric facility as a counselor. I've seen, sticking staples slash sharps in eyes, masturbating psychotics, cutters, psychotic meltdowns, pooping in the seclusion rooms, selective mutes, a guy who can vomit on command, on staff, a girl who's constantly hospitalized for swallowing batteries one who sticks pencils into the backs of her knees, clients attacking staff, myself included, suicide attempts, schizophrenics describing their bizarre dreams. Never a dull moment.